Today's video, I'm comparing the two new straighteners. This is the expensive one, and this one is the more affordable one. I'm going to use the copper for this side and the root reacher for this side. And they're both going to be set to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm also going to try to attempt a one pass only on both sides. So let's begin. <laughs> Flight stayed on Strange time It's a strange time In my life I, I took a drive oh, To clear my mind oh, And I ended back at your spot For what felt like a millionth time Reconnection From separate sections Cause we could meet in the middle With no sense of direction If it's sun up to sun down We mess around We're way too involved now Kept our secrets hidden, eating fruit so forbidden Kept our secrets safe Cause the temptation, it felt like pure relation I gave you my attention, but now it's hard to mention I don't feel a spark when you say my name Reconnection from separate sections Cause we could meet in the middle with no sense of direction If it's sun up to sun down, we mess around We're way too evolved now So my hair is done. This is the root reacher side. What do you guys think? And this is the copper side. One of you did say that is it really a one pass? Because if you really look at it, you have everything that's underneath the second plate being hit with heat a second time. So you have the first plate starting at the root. Second plate is starting an inch or half an inch away. Gap in the middle separating them, giving it half a second to be hit with heat again. Would it really be considered one pass? Technically, no. But you also have to consider the width on each plate. On a regular straightener, it's always around an inch to an inch and a half or two. The coppers placed together make it an inch if you put them together so it's the same. The gap to me looks like a gimmick for people to buy, but at the same time feels like it's giving my hair a chance to breathe and less heat damage. The root reacher also looks like a gimmick to me, but it's actually really great as well. If I had curly coarse hair, I would get the root reacher simply because I don't know how good the copper would work for that type of hair on the roots. Like how many times would you have to go back in the roots with half an inch? Like, do you guys get what I'm trying to say? But I honestly feel copper would work as it's known to be best material for thicker, coarser hair types and it gives a more even heat transfer. I did feel like I had to go slow with the root reacher because ceramic plates works by heating the hair from inside out, which is a safer option for us with thin or damaged hair. I think both straighteners would work on everybody as technique has a lot to do with it as well. They both left my hair silky soft and shiny, so what do you guys think about these two straighteners? So a little background on my hair. I do have really thin hair and like you saw in the beginning, it is kind of curly wavy at the bottom and it goes all around the front part of my head and it's poofy as well, especially when I use a blow dryer. Which, like, right now, yeah. About my flyaways, these right here, if you've seen my previous videos, I always forget to do this one thing. They go away as soon as I pass the comb through the middle, but because I'm comparing both sides, I don't want hair that's been straightened by the other straightener to be transferred to the other side and vice versa. I also didn't use a heat protecting spray or serum today because I didn't want it to have like an uneven portion on either side, which could have helped make one side look better than the other, you know, shine wise. 
I'm gonna show you once more what the root side looks like. And I did make a chart of like, you know, just, I guess like pros and cons, I guess. This is the copper side. Hope this video was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.